Well, this is a review of the Speed Clock app for your iPhone. Uh, I've recently used this app to record speeds of my RC car, and what I was going to do today was do a quality check on the speed that this thing provides. It's got several ways to monitor speed. Speed M is the one we're going to be using today. It basically sets up an area on the left and right of screen looking for an object to pass. Uh, when it does, it measures the time between. You have to input the size of the object and then it'll calculate the speed. Uh, other options that I've used are the speed V, uh, which actually takes a video of the object moving and then you place a marker on the object uh, at different intervals and then it'll actually calculate speed from that and they suggest it for baseballs and whatnot. I had problems using it because you have to be very the video has to be fairly precise and when there's a fast object you end up with a very long video with only a very small amount of time where the actual object is passing so I actually didn't like that one that much. So what we're going to be using today is the Speed M and trying to verify it using a car speedometer. Um, that should tell us whether it, uh, how close it is I guess as far as speed goes. So I'll be using it in this iPhone 5 uh, inside a little stand like this and then passing it by with my car. Okay, so distance to object. We're just going to do something rough here. About six meters away. I like the 60 feet per second and I find for fast moving objects this tracking sensitivity needs to be turned way up. When I was doing my car at about 65 miles an hour you can see we've got the road in the background. What we'll want to catch is the entire height of the vehicle. I think I'll be using like a wheel size or something like that. You can zoom in where the wheels will pass. Like that. And what we'll do is hit start. It sets up those windows on either side. And there's a measuring device in the middle and we'll try passing by with the car. Okay, we're in the car. We're going to try to pass that uh, speed clock at about a set rate here. Coming up on it. Let's go about 30 something like that. Okay, we've passed the speed clock. So let's go back and see if it managed to capture us driving by. Okay, we're back at the thing and it does have a picture of the car on the screen, uh, as you can see. Now what we have to do is take a measurement off the car and place it inside the speed clock. Okay, on the speed clock we were able to see the car's tire, so I'm going to measure the car's tire. It's 55 centimeters. Now inside speed clock you can see it's come up with 8 miles per hour. That's because it doesn't know the size of the car properly. So you hit this set measure button. Um, and what you're going to do is push this object size. Now you get a chance to size it. Uh, you can zoom the car if you want to. And you put this white thing uh, on the object that you want to size. So there we've placed the waist thing on the tire. Its size is 55 centimeters, which is 0.55 meters. And then you hit done. And you hit done. Okay, now it's saying 18 miles per hour. Um, but we looked at it in kilometers, so let's go kilometers per hour. Hit done. 29.4. So, I think the car was saying right around 30 to 33, it says 29, um, so maybe that's a little bit of error there, a couple kilometers an hour, it's probably got to do with the size, but generally it does get the speed about right, um, so if you don't want to buy a radar gun to measure speed, this app is about 5 bucks if I remember right, and it looks like it gets you in the ballpark. Um, I think after that you can do this little plot here and it shows you how it does the calculation whether it thinks there's error because of course error would come as if the car was accelerating in the time frame 
Um, you really want the car to be just traveling at a, at a, at a constant speed. So overall I think the result from this is pretty good.